what up guys welcome back to instructions for humanity y'all y'all better shut the windows and close the doors for this i'm going to tell you about the vision that i had about beyonce in blue ivy carter very disturbing jay-z's involved and there's someone else that's very close to her that's involved so let me tell you what's going on you guys know that beyonce has been on her tour and Blue Ivy has been joining majority of the dates throughout this tour this summer. And she brings her out on this particular song. And um, I think she performs for like five minutes or something like that. Well, I've been noticing that, you know, her confidence, Blue Ivy's confidence is growing. And she's actually changing right before our eyes. But as Blue Ivy becomes more confident... This is now tapping into the vision that I got this morning. I was laying in bed and this image was shown to me. Blue Ivy is becoming more confident and more beautiful and more expressive. And when you look at Beyonce on the opposite end of the stage, she is becoming less beautiful and almost as if she's turning into her true self. What do I mean by that? Seen those movies, right? Where the people become immortal by taking potions. And then one day something happens and the spell is broken and they turn into their true selves. This is the image I was shown this morning what what I saw in my mind's eye that Beyonce is transferring her energy into Blue Ivy now I'm not a conspiracy theorist and with all this Illuminati this and that because y'all be afraid of everything I'm not afraid of nothing it's just a data point to have right because if Beyonce, all that energy she's gained throughout the years from you guys, all supporting her, going to the concerts, buying all the um, things that she was selling. You're giving away your energy. So if someone's going to give you their energy, you're going to take it. That's how people become gods, right? Like I told you guys before, these gods, gods have to be made. But a creator, creator gives birth to themselves because they always exist as an energetic frequency. Getting back on, back to my point, Beyonce is morphing into her true self because what you guys have to remember, and I've been tapping on this for a while, I've been seeing this in the spirit for a while. Beyonce is on her last leg, no pun attended, right? Didn't think, didn't she have some sort of surgery in her foot or something like that? Nevertheless, she's on her last leg and she knows it. Her contract is over. The contract of her being the big superstar is over. So before that happens, before she becomes no more, if you know what I mean, because this is what I'm seeing, stay with me. She is transferring all of that energy for her thir past 30 years experience she's transferring that all into blue ivy and it's all of everyone's energy that has been supporting her throughout the years that is what i'm saying so when you go to concerts when you even support you listen to all these frequencies in the music it's a, a form of energy harvesting if you're not aware and you don't know how to cut the cords from certain things so if you don't know how to use your own energy, someone else, a higher dimensional being or someone else who has higher knowledge here on earth will utilize it. And that's what Miss Beyonce, that's why people are like, oh, there's something about her that's evil. Well, you know, I'm not here to decide that, but all I'm saying is she's using the energy that we all have been giving to her. So I don't, I honestly don't think that's wrong because energy is all that this universe is. And beloved, if you don't use your own energy by becoming the giant of the soul, which I spoke about before, your soul is very 
huge, but we take up this small space in our soul. And that's when you leave room for other beings to come in. That's how you get demonic possession. And that's how a lot of things start happening to you. You don't understand because you're playing small within your soul. You're giving your energy away out to everyone else that you think are doing better than you. Even your friends that you think are doing better than you or family members. You've given them your energy and you're becoming more small. So just learn how to stretch out and become the giant. Becoming the center of your own universe is all that you need to do. Basically, stop letting people live rent free in your mind. So... Beyonce is transferring all of that energy into Miss Blue Ivy Carter. And you can tell because she's getting more and more confident. And now she's throwing up the rock sign. And now she's giving more, you know, angles and face and all of that. Which, you know, I used to be a performer. So I can understand that on, on that level. But when I looked at Beyonce, she is, it's like the blood is being drained from her. What do I mean by that? The life force energy is being drained from her. And I remember this look because, you know, I used to work in television. I used to be a producer at Judge Judy. And Jamie Foxx had some show that he was shooting. His Their production studio was right across the hallway from ours. So sometimes us, you know, we would go into each other's offices, us producers, and conversate. And one day I walked in and I saw Jamie and it looked like the blood had been drained from his body. That's why I said before, Jamie Foxx has been gone a long time ago, y'all. Been gone a long time ago. It's been like, that was like 10, 15 years ago. Something like that. Long, long time. This is the same thing that I saw with Miss Beyonce in this vision that I got when I was just lying down, minding my own. Same look. No more life force energy. She knows. Her time is over. I've been telling you guys for this, she will be leaving this earth soon. She will be leaving the earth. We're going to get to Jay-Z and to the other person that's involved. But she is in the process of transferring all of her energy. And so as this continues to happen, you will start to notice that Beyonce will become less and less flattering and beautiful to people. People won't understand. They'll just think that she's aging. But in fact... All of that energy that has been holding her up, making her a God-like figure, it's been transferred into her daughter. You guys will, the process will start all over again with Miss Blue Ivy Carter. Now, in the vision, I saw Jay-Z on the outside. So Beyonce and, and um, Blue Ivy was shown to me like in a bubble, like a clear bubble. And he was looking into the bubble, but he was on the outside. He's in control of this. He is. And right when I noticed him, and I said in my mind's eye, he's in control of this. I saw some little monitoring spirit come in my room. But they don't know how big my spiritual team is. They got rid of that right away. So, lesson for anybody. Don't try it. Don't try it. So... He doesn't want people to know, but he's in charge of it. And also to her mother is involved in this, guys. Yes, because I saw this very evil look on her mother. Now, somehow, some way, guys, Jay-Z has somehow, some way in this vision. I'm clear sentient and clear, um, just clear cognizant. So I just have a knowing of what's going on. And also I have the ability to feel into things. So as I was just feeling what was going on, the 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 clear scent the clear cognizant was i just had a knowing of what it was so the mother somehow jay-z has convinced the mother that the mother needs jay-z more than she needs beyonce which is not true but somehow y'all remember anime bullet <laughs> y'all remember <laughs> the i cantina movie see god bless both of their souls. You know, I used to be friends with Ike Turner. And so um, back in the day, back in my LA days, and um, we used to go to his house in San Diego and saw all his uh, guitars that were all autographed and stuff. Cause I used to be like in a musical group and he was like doing some mentorship for us um, for a while. And we got to see all of Ike and Tina's um, like um, costumes from back in the day when they used to perform back in the sixties and seventies. It was, it was wild. It's, Great time in history. 
great time in my life. But anywho, so y'all remember that movie, right? <laughs> That is kind of what Jay, remember um, how Ike Turner in the movie? No, Ike Turner was not really like this in real life. Maybe he was when he was younger, but when I was friends with him, he was not. So he was a sweet old man, right? So um, <laughs> y'all remember when Ike Turner in the movie was given uh, Tina's mother money? And then Tina's mother was like, what you doing here? You need to go back, go back to your husband. You know, she was on the payroll. It's that's what I'm seeing with what's going on. Miss Tina is on Jay-Z's payroll somehow, even though Beyonce has all this money, somehow, some way, and I'm kind of questioning where her money is because why is Miss Tina being manipulated energetically by Jay-Z? That Miss Tina needs Jay-Z more than she needs her own daughter. So there could be some, I'm just saying guys, there could be some sort of financial abuse there going on with uh, Miss Beyonce knows between her and Jay-Z because you, if your daughter is, you know, this mega star and super rich, why do you feel that you need Jay-Z more than you need your daughter? So that, that energy that she's focusing and giving Jay-Z, exalting him is actually taking energy away from her daughter, Beyonce. So it's, it gets deep, but that's the vision and spirit don't lie. Say it, men lie, women lie, spirit don't lie. So that's what's going on. Um, so as this energy exchange continues to happen, that's why you guys better become the giant of your soul. Take your own energy back. If you don't, someone else who understands energy will use it for them. But all that energy that Beyonce has gained over her career is right now being transferred into Blue Ivy. So as that happens, watch it. Blue Ivy will become more popular, more beautiful, um, more intriguing. And Beyonce will start to turn into and shrivel up into an old witch looking like lady. That's what I'm seeing. It's almost as if she's like 500 years old in real life. Because I think, honestly, I think Beyonce has been gone a long time ago. And there's a current operator of her, um, I won't even say her soul. There's a current operator. Well, yeah, because, you know, there's jump-ins, right? There's a current operator. I'm not sure if her soul is still intact or not. But I do know there's a current operator of her being, you know, um, of her human being. And so, yeah that person, that spirit is like ancient. It's like very old. So that's why I'm seeing Beyonce turn into this very old, hundreds and hundreds of year old, shriveled up, witch looking like woman. Because Beyonce has been replaced a long time ago. So what it is, is this entity is about to actually die because it was a contract. Okay, thank you, spirit. It's a contract that, you know, first Beyonce had it, she had the contract, she had a certain amount of time, she was going to get to experience all this stuff, then we got her little handler, Jay-Z came in, and then the contract was over, Beyonce had to step out of her body, she essentially lost her soul, you can't really lose your soul, but she was no longer allowed to operate that, so who knows where Miss Beyonce's uh, consciousness is. It could be in a bubble somewhere, sitting, floating around, waiting, or it could just be, you know, off of this earth. You know what I mean? Then the, the jump in came in. Um, very ancient, prominent energy came in and was the operator of Beyonce's body. Now that contract is ending. But before that contract is ending, now the process is starting over again. They found a way to jump to uh, jump into Blue Ivy, transferring all of the data and energy that they've gotten from people over the years. And now that's going to Blue Ivy. And Jay-Z is in charge of all this. He's watching it all inside of a bubble, okay? So that's just what I wanna say about that. I thought there was something else I wanted to mention, but I'm gonna leave this right here, but that is just what is going on in case anybody wanted to know. But I love y'all, the birds, the bees, and all of the trees, they all love you too. Love is the way. Forgiveness, it is the key. And truth is the absolute light that will always, always guide us home. Be well. Be well, guys. Bye.